Ladies and gentlemen, let's try GameInsider.com video. Let's discuss recent news that DirectX 12 is going to be making an appearance at GDC this month. It's actually not too long away at all. And the really big news here is it's going to be a low-level API, very similar to Mantle. Now, when you consider that it was mid-2009 that the first DX11 graphics card really started hitting the market and we actually started to see a release of it. And indeed, if you were to look at the release schedule, it was late 2006, we saw DX10. Uh, DX9, meanwhile, was 2002, but before that, DirectX versions were actually pretty frequent. For example, the original DirectX hit in uh, September 2000, uh, sorry, 1995, and then 96, we saw DX2, and then DX3, we saw in 96, and so on, and so on, and so on. In other words, uh, there was actually quite a few versions released within a very short period of time. Indeed, we get to, to DirectX 6 by the time August rolls around, and then DirectX 7 hit in 1999, and so forth. I'm not going to bore you with the whole history. My point being, the DirectX versions, up until like version 8, 9, were actually pretty damn frequent. Recently, not so much, and... There have been a lot of rumours about what's actually going to be happening with DirectX. Of course, we've had various updates, for example, DirectX 11.1 .1 and 11.2, which have certainly improved various things. And one of the whole benefits of them, um, or one of the whole uses of them, has definitely been to lure people towards Windows 8.1. Of course, DirectX, the later versions, like 11.1, 11 .1, 11.2 rather, do include tiled resources as well as other instructions. Now, of course, it's not been confirmed that DX12 won't be on Windows 7, but let's face it, it's very unlikely. So, we've actually seen a slide that has Radeon, or AMD Radeon, Intel, NVIDIA GeForce, as well as Qualcomm logos, plasters are everywhere, along, of course, with Microsoft's own. And there was also a summary you asked us to bring even closer to metal and to do so in an unparalleled assortment of hardware. You also asked us for better tools so you could squeeze every last drop out of your PC, tablet, phone, and console. Come leap, come learn, I'm sorry, to our plans to deliver. In other words, we're likely going to be seeing improvements very similar to AMD's mantle. Maybe not quite so great. It's very hard to tell right now. But we're likely going to be seeing very similar types of claims and improvements, but hopefully for a wide wide variety of hardware. One of the problems, of course, with Mantle is for myself, who's a GeForce owner, it does me about as much good as a thimble if I'm trying to bail out a boat. It really doesn't help me. Now, of course, that's not necessarily AMD's fault, and they have actually technically left it open and said that nvidia could jump on it but let's just be honest here nvidia are not going to do so so of course in many ways regular opengl and direct x are really what us nvidia and intel owners are really going to have to focus on now there is a question that i'm sure is on your mind what about the xbox one well technically the statement does read and console. Here's the thing. It really depends on exactly what they're doing with DX. That simple. Because it's not necessarily true that the system needs certain levels of hardware to run at DirectX 12. Because it could be backwards compatible DirectX 12. Uh, could hold all of the functions of DX11 and maybe some optimizations there. So, okay, maybe the Xbox One hardware isn't fully DirectX compatible. Now, there's also a very good chance that we're also going to have to wait for graphics cards to really take advantage as well. What typically happens, and this has been pretty prolific, you'll have a graphics card uh, release scheduled 
Microsoft will release a new version of DirectX. The graphics card invariably won't take advantage of DirectX. So let's assume DirectX 11 comes out. Graphics cards that are out currently will be like DX10. 11 is released in terms of DirectX. Later on, both companies will fight to release the first DX11 graphics cards. And then eventually, you'll get games that really start to support uh, DirectX, say, the latest version. And typically, you'll actually still have the switch between DX11 and DX let's say 9 in many cases a lot of games still use dx9 because unfortunately they're still ports from well very low power consoles it's really what it comes down to so we'll have to just see what happens to the xbox one whether it's going to be able to use a lot of the actual functions of dx12 now a few almost certain candidates we're going to be seeing for dx12 of course is low level optimizations no doubt uh, GPU computing is certainly going to be like a big part of that. So in other words, using the GPU for things such as physics, for things such as AI and so on. Of course, that's not necessarily to say that the GPU can't do that right now. It's just I think we're going to be getting a greater integration. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm sorry, by the way, for my voice sounding a bit snuffly today, unfortunately still nursing a little bit of a sore throat and a cold so hopefully you've been able to understand me okay anyway i'm gonna let you guys go so hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now